Welcome to the Museum of Art. My name is Neil Hansen, and I'm a professor here at BYU. I study soil science. I'm very unqualified to be uh, introducing a piece of art to you, with the small exception that in this exhibit today, Vic Muniz's Extraordinary Exhibit, there are several pieces of art that feature what I love, and that is elements of the soil. I love the name of this exhibit, Extraordinary, because uh, Vic Muniz uses ordinary materials, but he does extraordinary things with it. In this piece uh, called Sandcastle, the art is created on a single grain of sand. Uh, as a soil scientist, before I focus in on the actual art that was made on the sand, I like to look at the piece of sand itself. Here you can see fracture planes where this little piece of sand broke off of a larger piece, and that larger piece broke from a larger piece. We call these the parent materials that the soils form in. The idea that an artist could take something that small and then play on the idea of something, again, that's ordinary for us, making sand castles, which is something most of us have done uh, on a visit to the beach, and take that idea of sand castles and scale it down to something so tiny to make the sand castle on a single grain of sand. So to give an idea of scale of a single grain of sand, I often collect soils when I'm on travel. Or these are my cheap souvenirs, right? So this is one of my soils. This actually comes from uh, Washington's Mount Vernon. Um, I just put a little bit of soil here and start to separate that out. You can easily start to identify single grains of sand. Of course, soil is a mixture of other minerals, silt-sized and clay-sized minerals, but um, try to appreciate the piece of art, the sandcastles piece, that it's etched on a piece of uh, material smaller than that one. That's why I appreciate as a soil scientist being even able to see a grain of sand with such magnification and see, as I said, the fracture planes and the mineral elements that make up that piece of the soil. So in sandcastles, Vic Muniz used what I consider the mineral fraction of soil to create his art. In these pieces, the um, pieces are made in what I would consider the organic fraction of soils. And again, if I can call your attention to the way a soil scientist sees this before we look at the actual art. If you look at this piece, you see uh, fragments of material that are reflective of living things. So leaves, stems, a shell. And the cool thing about soil science is all living things decay to create the soils that make our planet such a living place, and then the soils give life back. And so I see in this image, these hands, it, to me it connects me as a human to the soil that creates life. And so it's, it's sort of built into this image for me as a soil scientist, kind of the way I live my life. I spend a lot of time with my hands in the earth, exploring, feeling, sensing the soil, and looking at all of the life that soil gives. I like to think kind of the scriptural passage that says, of dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. And I see that in this image. This is another soil sample I collected, and you'll notice right away different colors, right? So this is a darker soil. That darkness, the, the black or dark brown materials come from the organic fraction of soils. And so the hands and binoculars piece uses that organic material to play on light and dark as a way to create the art within, the, within the, the soil matrix there. And again, that's where I find some of the most interesting life on our planet. And it just made my day to see an artist using ordinary soil in an extraordinary way.